some Metal Mayhem painting. I'm going to add uh, initially white gesso, and then on the end, I'm going to add. Uh, I'm going to add in the colors. We're going to work with uh, blue, black, orange, and green. So let's see how it goes. All right. So the question of the day is, how did abstract expressionism come about? <laughs> today was about abstract expressionalism so what happened was obviously everyone knows about World War II so when the Nazis invaded Paris Paris was the capital of the world of art at that time and the majority of the artists escaped to New York and a lot of the surrealist artists there was only three French greats that remained like Matisse Picasso I forget the third guy <laughs> um, Monet I think and so when they showed up, they had this new movement where they kind of combined the art movements of before. So one of the key guys that sticks out in everyone's heads is Jackson Pollock. So he completely took kind of the surrealism idea and completely abstracted it with just drips only and you know, rhythm and movement. So that was completely barbaric compared to the terms before that came before an art movement. It completely destroyed. In a way, I would say it was kind of a absolute fruition of cubism in a way. Um, another big one was Rothko. He did the huge color fields. So it's just a pure study of color with no symbolism, no um, imagery except for huge blocks of color. Um, there's also de Kooning. So he took really, this is kind of more what I would say is abstract expressionism. It's a rough brush stroke. You almost can't make out the figures in his work. Um, and there's still a little bit of uh, figurative in his work, but just barely. Um, and there's several other painters, obviously, in this movement, but that's how abstractionist expressions came about. Thanks to the Nazis, the capital of the art world moved to New York, and it's always been there ever since. Um, nowadays, I would argue a little bit that it might be L.A., maybe Miami kind of coming up. Uh, Miami's just a branch off of New York in a way, but L.A. is kind of forming its own art world as well. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this painting has this orange, green, white. Um, the black is kind of a blue black, so it has this nice blends. Um, it has kind of this, you know, interesting T section. Um, I think some of the uh, colors in my other, um, out of my four, I think this isn't maybe the strongest. I do like this really strong black to orange blend, so it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching.